Hey, kids. Sorry to interrupt your game of tag, but Gianna and I were wondering... Could you three keep an eye on this little guy for us? He's a brand new magic pet. <gasps> it's a gobble frog. Mm, he's just a baby. Have you found him a magic match? There's a little boy who's just perfect. We're meeting him at the train station. We'll take great care of this little guy while you're gone. <laughs> and we'll be really, really careful not to startle him. Why is that? Because, according to the magic pet primer, when baby gobble frogs get scared, they start to gobble. Gobble what? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> well, you kids will do great. See you soon. Don't worry, Gobble Frog. I'm Mila. And this is my brother, Jordy. Morpho Magic Pet. Morpho is Mila's magic pet. He's the best. He can morph into almost anything, like a scooter, <laughs> or a race car, <laughs> or a spring shoe, <laughs> or a chair, <laughs> or a bowl of soup, <laughs> or a tennis racket, <laughs> or a two-headed dragon. <laughs> everything. No problem. Ahem. As mayor of Petport, I'm proud to present this handsome new statue of myself, which took 30 years to make. They've been working on it since I was a baby. Don't think about it too hard. But at last, today it's finally finished. <laughs> I'm staying positive, Mila. Like you said, look how positive I am. My for two. A big frog just ate my helicopter for absolutely no reason at all. Uh, we're doomed. Officer Freeze, you must have scared him somehow. No, all I did was calmly warn him. If you eat my helicopter, you're going to jail, bub! My statue! <laughs> We're never going to catch him. Hmm. We can catch him. We just need... A helicopter? Too late. Somebody ate it. Talking about your frog. A helicopter's a great idea! Morphle, morph into a helicopter so we can catch up to that gobble frog. <laughs> Those kids have all the fun. <laughs> Mila, down there! It's your Aunt Augustine! And there's our gobble frog! Morpho, take us down! <laughs> Go away! Shoo! Aunt Augustine, you're scared! Him. But this frog ate my tea set and my umbrella. Plus, I could have sworn Maria Monet was standing there a minute ago. <laughs> hey! <laughs> oh, my statue! Oh, back here! Stop scaring him, everyone! Calm down! To something big and awesome to make him stop. A stop sign? Huh, it worked. <sighs> Too 
too bad nothing's working on him. Hey, kids. <sighs> Mila, Jordy, what's going on? We were just playing, Dad, but then the Goblin Frog got scared. In Goblin Mr. Mayor's statue, and Officer Freeze's helicopter, and Aunt Augustine's stuff, and Mom's new car, and possibly Maria Monet. I'm sorry, Dad. We tried calming him down, but we couldn't do it. Well, that's because you're not his magic match. But Carlos is. Carlos, this is Mila. She needs help with your magic match. Hi, Carlos. We accidentally scared your gobble frog, and now we have to make him feel okay again. Can you help me do that? Gobble frog, this is Carlos. Carlos is your magic match. Do you know what that means? It means you two will be very best friends forever and ever. Aww. Aren't we forgetting something? Today was a downright magical day. Every day's a magical day with the magic pet. That's a lot of magic. <laughs> <laughs> this magic pet food should last the pets all week, Gianna, if you stick to my feeding schedule. I try, Louis, but Telepup eats more than Animi and Katmo combined. Telepop! Happy Parents Day! Parents Day! Parents Day? Day? It's a holiday Mila made up, Mom. Like pets giving or waffling. Parents Day is a chance for us kids to show our parents how much we appreciate them. <gasps> and hey, you just got married! So this is our first Parents Day together in our new family. So we're gonna make it a good one. We've got it all planned out. Today's gonna be the perfect day. Whoa, it has to be perfect? That's a lot of pressure. You say pressure, I say yes, sir. Time to make Parents Day magical. <laughs> Excuse what me? What did he say? <laughs> yeah, I didn't get that at all. He said, Happy Parents Day! <laughs> Hooray! Oh, are we having a picnic in the town square? Picnic? Yes. Town square? Nah, ah. We're going to have a picnic at the top of Mango Mountain. Well, uh, <laughs> well, hey, hon, that's quite a big hike. You're quite a big dad. <laughs> Oh, thanks. Question, will the picnic have hot wings? Yes! Telepup, what are you doing in our picnic basket? Hey, did you eat all of our picnic food? Ah. Mine too! How can you have a picnic lunch with no picnic lunch? This is definitely not perfect. But Mango Mountain has mangoes. Well, guess what, Mila? I love mangoes. Mango picnic! Follow me, everyone! Mango Mountain is on the other side of this pond. But where's the bridge? It should be here. Look, you can see it in this picture. Hmm. Morphle, we need to find a way to get across. Morphle help. Make perfect. Whoa, a hot air 
air balloon? Great idea, Morphle. We could fly straight to the top of the mountain in this. Thanks, Morphle. Morph into something to help us. Uh, a nose? What? what? Uh, 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 ha! Ah! <laughs> <sighs> um, question, everybody. Did Morphle just sneeze us to safety? <laughs> he sure did. Gazit tight, Morphle. And Morphle, thank you again. <sighs> Morphle, love me. And now, Jordy and I are proud to present the Top of Mango Mountain! Um, Mila, are you sure this is Mango Mountain? <laughs> Mango tastes like rock! I don't understand. Oh, there's the real Mango Mountain. We must have gotten turned around in the forest somehow. We're on the wrong mountain. Then where are we? Well, according to the map, if that's Mango Mountain over there, then this must be, uh-oh, everything go wrong mountain. That explains a lot. <sighs> Aw, Mina's sad, Morphle's sad. <sighs> I wanted your first parent's day to be perfect, but nothing turned out the way I wanted it to. Sorry for ruining everything. Mila, you didn't ruin anything. Today was perfect. It was? Because we were together. And we did have fun getting here with Morphle's help. <gasps> Morphle! I just thought of a fun thing that we can still do from up here. <gasps> Mila happy, Morphle happy! A giant Morphle slide? Now that sounds like fun! Ho ho ho! Not only is this the most perfect day ever, it's about to be the slidiest day ever, too! <laughs> Welcome back! 
Yes, I can. I can hug a rainbow. Nothing is impossible if you never give up. And we're gonna help her. <laughs> Whatever. Rainbow hug adventure. Here we come. Hey, Jordy, you coming? Hang on, I'm packing what we need. Jordy, rainbows don't last forever. We can't miss our chance. Whoa! <gasps> There's the rainbow! And it's just behind City Hall. We better hurry. Morphle, can you morph into something speedy? <laughs> wow! A tiger? Oh, a tiger! Mila, I've never heard of anyone being able to hug a rainbow. Guess that means I'll be the first. <gasps> I see the rainbow! On the beach! <sighs> We're not too late. Morphle, morph into a sand scooter! <laughs> What's it doing over there now? It was right here. Mila, what if Maria is right? Do you want to give up? No, it just feels Im impossible. It's only impossible if we give up. And I'm not ready to give up. I'm so with you, Mila. But you said rainbows disappear fast. How will we get there in time? Hmm. <gasps> Morphle, can you get us over to the rainbow fast before it moves again? Me a dirty fly! I don't like the sound of that. Morphle, Morphle! A catapult? Brilliant, Morphle! You can launch us through the air! On second thought, I'd rather... Ah! the rainbow kept moving around. It says here, rainbows are optical illusions from sunlight going through raindrops into our eyes. But if the rain moves or goes away, so does the rainbow. Maria was right. <sighs> you can't hug a rainbow. <laughs> what a beautiful day now that the rain's gone. Why, it's so beautiful out right now that I'm 100% sure I won't be needing this umbrella anymore. <gasps> Good afternoon. <sighs> Morphle, I think Mila's really sad. Mila's sad? Morphle's sad. Uh, no, he doesn't give up. And neither do we. There's gotta be something we can... <gasps> Chroma! I'm going to run ahead to set something up. Bring Mila back to the pet center. Oh, Morpha. I do love you. <laughs> Rainbows everywhere! But how? Chroma helped. 
It's like you said, Mila. Nothing is impossible if you don't give up. I love it, Jordy. It's not the same, but... <laughs> <laughs> awesome! It's not the same. It's better. Because now, I get to hug my amazing Rainbow Brother. And I can actually hug you back. <laughs> Chroma, you were absolutely... Kind of awesome. I look great. Group hug! I guess you can hug a rainbow. <laughs> <laughs> I've been waiting all year for this field trip, and it's finally here. Let's go bird hatching day! day! <laughs> I think Cat was excited too, Jordy. Can you blame her for being excited? I mean, the Magic Pet Primer says it's one of the rarest magic pets in the wild. The Echo Bird can imitate any sound it hears. I hope it doesn't rain, though. Bad weather could really ruin the trip. Is using her magic pet power to make the weather better for you. Shouldn't the bus be here by now? It's a long drive to the lake, and we don't want to miss the hatching. Hey, look, everybody, here it comes now. That doesn't sound good. I'm sorry, Jordy. The bus broke down. <sighs> Pretty sure I can fix it. Couldn't fix it. Without the bus to take everyone to the lake, I won't be able to see the Echo Bird hatch. Morpho, can you transform into a bus and take us to the lake? Yeah! That's a Yay! Thank you, Mila. <laughs> Thanks, Morpho. I am bad. Beep, beep. Is everybody here? We wouldn't want to leave anybody behind. I'm sure we're all here. Come on, let's go! <laughs> beep, beep. is breaking law number 416.2, being too awesome! Huh? Why did we stop? What's going on? Looks like we're waiting for our magic pets across the street. Uh, how much longer, Mila? <laughs> Um, is there any chance the egg might hatch tomorrow? What? No! It's today! Soon! Then we have a problem. There's got to be a shortcut, right? Let's find out. Marvel, we need a way to get past this so we can get there in time. Then we're not going. 
going to see the Echo Bird hatch today. I'm sorry, Jordy. First, the bus broke down, then there was traffic, and now it's snowing in summer? Wait, how is it snowing in summer? Definitely not normal weather. I know. Catmo, a little help with the weather? Catmo! Oh, no! I forgot her! I was in such a hurry to go! Oh, she must be so upset! And that's why the weather's like this. It's a magic pet power! Catmo! Catmo, if you can hear me, I'm sorry! Where are you? She'll never hear you. <gasps> Unless... Morpho, quick! Morph into a megaphone to help Jordy! Catmo! Catmo! Where are you? Come out if you can hear me! Oh no! Catmo! You cleared up the skies for me! But then I left you behind! All day, I've been in such a rush to see the Echo Bird. But you were just as excited as I was. And I should have slowed down to make sure you're with us. I'm so sorry. Should be hatching any second now. Ready, Catmo?